welcome to one more tech tip tuesday video today we will see how to create a custom profile uh, for your weldment first of all we will to create a profile we'll select a blank part template over here we will go to sketch i'll select one of the plane and start sketch drawing create the profile let's give some dimension let's put some offset of 3 ok so we have this profile here Let's exit the sketch. First of all, let's go and go to properties and select the description. In this case, I'll select 100 by 30. Sorry, 30 by 300. So that we can use this in bill of material now we will save this profile for that first let's click on your sketch make sure you click is selected let's go to save as so this is the file location where i want to save my profile let's change the part name Here under the save as type we have to select fit part let's select the save as type change the location over here I have one demo profile and I'm gonna add one more profile named 7533 save once you do that, make sure you have this L next to your sketch logo. It means this is converted as a sketch profile or weldment profile. Now let's go back to part. I have created this small table profile. Now let's go to weldment. If you don't have this weldment tab here, right click, tab over here you can turn on or turn off your weldment feed or weldment add-on tab let's take the structural member over here ISO this is the demo profile under that I have the 7533 let's select the groups So as you can see our new profile is here we can use this in weldment also you can create your you can customize uh, your configuration as well as you can see here in this L section we I have different configuration as per the dimension so you can use the configuration tab as well in the weldment profile Thank you for joining us and see you next Tech Tuesday videos.